Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. And here at The Hanger Project, we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to clean patent leather shoes using the Saphir Vernus Reef Patent Leather Cleaner. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I get back to all those questions personally. Today I'm gonna to be cleaning my Grinson Patent Leather Opera Pumps. Now these shoes I actually bought back in college and are a great example of how if you shop the sales, you can find some absolute gems. I'm certain that I bought these for $200 and $250. Uh, Grinson is a, a very well-known brand of uh, English shoes and they do absolutely great work. And so whenever I bought these back in college, uh, they were a great find. Uh, I've absolutely enjoyed wearing them. Uh, and over 10 years later, they're the shoes that I still wear every single time I put on my black tie. Now, Saphir's Vernus Reef Patent Leather Cleaner comes in two colors, black and neutral. Uh, I'm gonna be using the black today, uh, but the neutral is great for women's shoes, uh, you know, like nude pumps or red uh, Louboutins uh, that, you know, your wife may have. Uh, it's an absolutely great product that's gonna clean and help reshine the patent leather. Cleaning patent leather is very simple. There's really not much you can do with it because it's such a treated leather. I mean, to call it leather is a little bit of a stretch in my opinion because it is treated, treated with the polyurethane. The only way to really take care of patent leather is just to treat it with the Saphir patent leather cleaner. Now the Saphir patent leather cleaner comes with a small chamois, but I'm going to be using one of our larger Hanger Project chamois uh, during this tutorial. Step one, take your cotton chamois and just gently clean the patent leather. Now the purpose here is to just uh, wipe any type of surface uh, dirt off of the shoe and to get them as clean as possible before you apply the patent leather cleaner. Step two, apply the patent leather cleaner to the shoe. I like to shake this first, you know, to make sure that it's well mixed and then just gently open this up uh, and be careful that you're working either on a protected surface or someplace that if you were to accidentally spill this, uh, you wouldn't be upset because uh, it would ruin uh, anything that it were to spill on top of. And I'm just going to use uh, one of our Hanger Project chamois. This comes with the chamois, but I like to use uh, one of my own chamois just because it's larger. So apply this generously uh, to the cloth. And then what you're gonna do is just simply wipe this onto the shoe. Now you can be generous in its application. What you're gonna do is allow this to dry for three or five minutes, and then you're gonna come back over and buff it off. Now this is going to help shine the patent leather. Now it's not going to fix any type of like deep scratches or scuffing, uh, but it will certainly make the patent leather shine again. Now the patent leather really isn't absorbing this in the same way that uh, calfskin would absorb, like say the Saphir Medaudior polish. And the reason is because it's so heavily treated uh, that you know really the, the material is completely sealed. So here we're just honestly treating just the surface uh, of the leather itself. So I've applied the patent leather cleaner. Step three is to allow uh, the patent leather cleaner to dry for between three and five minutes. Now, after you've allowed the patent leather cleaner to dry for about three to five minutes, uh, you can tell it's dry whenever it's gone from clear to fogged. Uh, the next, next step is really easy. You know, basically take a clean portion of the same chamois that you use to apply the patent leather cleaner and you're just going to buff it off. Now, this is gonna buff that patent leather cleaner to a nice soft shine. You can really see that buffing to a nice shine. After I've buffed off that first application of the Saphir patent leather cleaner, it really will expose whether or not you have any kind of harder uh, spots that need to be treated on the patent leather. And if you see on the left shoe, there is some hard kind of spotting on the front of this toe. So what I recommend is taking a little bit of alcohol. Uh, and again, you can apply this on your cotton chamois and then gently see if you can work those spots off. So I'm applying this, uh, this uh, alcohol to my chamois. So I'm just gonna try to gently work those spots off. And as you can see, it's fogging up the patent leather a little bit. So you don't wanna do this too hard because uh, you don't wanna affect that polyurethane finish, but it should be really effective at taking off uh, any spots that the patent leather cleaner isn't able to get off by itself. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reapply another coat of the patent leather cleaner to that area that we spot treated in order to redevelop that shine. Now that's not something I would recommend doing to the entire shoe, but again, if you have any of those hard spots that don't come off after your first application of the patent leather cleaner, and you really wanna to try to get those off, uh, you can try the alcohol and see if that works. So there we go, I've reapplied that. 
Uh, I'm going to allow this to dry. You can see that it didn't take everything off, uh, but it certainly did take a lot of those, um, you know, that, that spotting off of the front of the shoe. Uh, and then the patent leather cleaner helped bring that back up to a shine. So my only recommendation would be not to go too hard with the alcohol because you don't want to affect uh, the actual smoothness of that uh, finish applied to the patent leather. Because if you do that, then you actually damage the integrity of the patent leather and you won't be able to reshine it. So you really just want to spot treat only as needed and then focus on just the areas. Uh, you could come back on top of this with the second uh, application of the patent leather cleaner just to try to elevate that shine even further. Uh, but otherwise, I think these patent leather shoes look fantastic and they're ready to be worn uh, to a nice black tie event. You know, before I go out and I wear a pair of my patent leather shoes, you know, I'll just apply a quick coat and buff it. I actually keep a bottle of this in the same shoe storage box that I keep uh, my Grinson Opera Pumps in. And so patent leather, beautiful shoes, always shiny. Uh, the patent leather cleaner is a great way to take care of them. Other than that, there's not much you can do to take care of your patent leather shoes. As far as shoe care is concerned, there's really not much to it. If you have any questions about this video, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. If you have any tricks about how you clean your patent leather shoes, you know, please share that with us. Uh, and then if you have any stories about your favorite pair of formal uh, dress shoes that you wear with black tie, I'd love to hear what your preferences are. The Saphir Vernus Reef Patent Leather Cleaner can be found at hangerproject.com, as well as a full and comprehensive assortment of other Saphir products. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so that you can receive notifications whenever we release new videos. I'm Kirby Allison, founder of The Hanger Project. Thanks for joining us.